In the healthcare education system, student nurses are trained in various skills. In Baltimore, Maryland, dedicated students filming how-tos are members of an elite squad known as the Student Nurse Skills Virtual Unit. These are their stories. Nursing care of chest tube systems include assessment of the chest tube insertion site and the drainage unit, as well as troubleshooting issues. Let's start from the insertion site and work our way down. A bottle of sterile water should always be kept at the bedside in case the chest tube becomes dislodged. You can always put the tip of the chest tube into the sterile water to keep it clean. The insertion site should be kept clean and dry. Palpate the area and note any crepitus. If the chest tube has become dislodged, apply a sterile gauze with your hand and lift it periodically to allow air to escape. Notify the provider immediately and prepare for replacement of the tube. Assess the connections and follow the lines down to the chest tube drainage system, ensuring nothing is kinked or looped. Make sure the unit remains upright and below the level of the chest. Note the drainage color and amount in the collection chamber. Consider the rate of the drainage. Assess your suction control window to make sure the orange float is still there. If it's gone, you may need to turn off your suction. Assess the air leak meter for gentle, continuous bubbling or tidaling. Water in the water seal chamber can evaporate, so always check the water levels. In general, never clamp a chest tube. You risk creating a vacuum that could rapidly lead to a tension pneumothorax. Only clamp immediately prior to removing the drainage unit with a physician's order. Now you know the ins and outs of CDUs. Post comments or requests for the next SNSVU investigation.